Nmap Short for Network Mapper is a network reconnaissance tool that allows you to scan an entire network, find out what devices are connected to that network, the operating system those devices are running, find out what ports are open, and even find vulnerabilities that you can exploit. And in this video, we'll explore how to do all of that, so let's start. Now the great thing is that Nmap comes pre-installed on Kali Linux, meaning that we can just start using it without having to worry about the installation. So let's do that real quick, and our first task is to start by finding which devices or hosts are connected to the network we are currently connected to. For this, the command will start with Nmap, followed by a space, and then we are going to use a switch, dash SP. Here S stands for scan, as we are scanning a network, and P stands for ping, as we are automating the process of pinging devices connected to our network. Next, just enter the IP address of the network that you want to scan. Mine is this one right here, and you're good. Now just hit enter, and Nmap will start scanning for active devices connected to the targeted network. And done. So as you can see, it shows that there are a total of 5 hosts up on this network, indicating that I have 5 active devices currently connected to the network I'm on. And the local IP addresses of these devices can be seen up here, one by one. So that's basically how you can discover the devices connected to a network with Nmap. But as a hacker, how can we search for the open ports of these devices to identify potential entry points and vulnerabilities? Well, it's actually pretty easy. For this, we are going to type sudo, space Nmap, and now we are going to be doing a TCP connect scan. So we'll use the dash ST switch, where T is standing for TCP, and finally type in the network's IP address. Then hit enter. And boom, so as you can see, we are now presented with a list of all the devices along with their ports on this network. But how can we search for some specific ports for service identification, like port 80 and 4 43, to see if there are any web servers available on this network. Well that can be done by adding a dash P switch here, right after the dash ST switch, and then specifying the ports you want to search for, like this. And upon hitting enter, you can see that it only searched specifically for the ports 80 and 443 on these hosts. By searching for specific ports in a network, a hacker or pen tester can gather information about the services running on those ports, and then proceed with vulnerability scanning targeted at those specific devices. Now these are all closed or filtered, as I don't have any web server on my network right now, but if there were any, both of these ports would be open. Alright, so now that we know how we can search for devices and their ports on a network, let's address a potential challenge here that we might encounter as hackers. You see, conducting scans like these on a network can trigger its firewall detection, exposing our identity and potentially causing trouble. To mitigate this risk, we need to adopt a more discreet approach during our scans. Luckily, Nmap provides a stealthy mode that can help us stay under the radar, and we can activate this mode by replacing the dash ST switch, with the dash SS switch, where S stands for stealthy. By utilizing this technique, we can conduct our scans covertly and minimize the chances of detection. Now wouldn't it be cool, if we could also scan for the operating system running on a specific device that is connected to the network? Well Nmap can also do that, and to do that, just copy the local IP of the device you want to scan, type sudo, space Nmap, space dash O, and then paste the IP of targeted device. And done. So as you can see, it did its best to guess the operating system running on this host, and it is pretty accurate, as the host that I scanned was actually a device running Windows. Now if you open up the manual page of Nmap, by typing man Nmap in your terminal, you'll notice that Nmap offers another cool option called the dash a switch right here. This is the aggressive mode of Nmap, enabling us to perform a comprehensive search that combines OS detection, protocol version checks, script scanning, and trace route. So let's quickly give it a try and see what we find. Now this one took a lot of time, but we did find some useful stuff, such as the SSH version being utilized, and trace route data, to determine the distance between the target device and our network. Now the final thing that I want to show you is pretty awesome. So Nmap can do all these amazing things that I just showed you, but it also has a powerful scripting engine, which allows us to write custom scripts for Nmap, that can accomplish a wide range of tasks. You can find these scripts on the official Nmap website, and I'll put a link to it in the description down as well. Among the available scripts, the ones that are particularly interesting are all these scripts under the vulnerabilities category here, as they allow us to actually scan a device or host for vulnerabilities that we can exploit. Now you have the option to run each script individually, but if you're like me and prefer efficiency, you can run all the scripts collectively on a device, and here's how you can do it, type sudo, space nmap, space double dash script, followed by the script name. Since we want to utilize all the vulnerability scripts, we'll use vuln as the script name, and then specify the device we want to search for vulnerabilities on. After a short while, if any known vulnerabilities are found, you can proceed to exploit them accordingly. So that concludes our quick overview of Nmap and how you can utilize it. However, if you want to become a hacker, it's crucial to delve deeper into Nmap beyond what we've covered here. So I would encourage you to explore the manual page of Nmap yourself, experiment with the various switches available there, and learn more about it through online documentation or various tutorials available on the internet. If you have any questions regarding the video, make sure to ask them in the comments section down below, and I will see you in the next one.